our first raft up. Just hanging out. Hey girl. You had a great crowd tonight. Hey, I don't even know if I can see you guys. Your nesting zone, dude. This is my solar panel. We're on our way to do some survival training, offshore survival training. Yeah. So what that involves, like life raft, boarding a life raft, and jumping in the water from like 15 meters, whatever stuff. We're not even sure. It's all the things you need to know if you're going offshore, which we are doing. So this is all part of our preparations for the Caribbean. This is it. Survival training center. How you doing, Noel? Good. How'd you like that cold tank? Oh. <laughs> that was me. That was me. It was all I did, by the way. You should get in there quick. So we put on the preservers. I'm surprised I floated. Yeah. Third year on. I'm surprised you're not like hyperventilating now. Hey guys. Yeah. That's the best part. Now Much better, eh? Now we have chuck this up. You'd be wearing one of these, right? So we just got out of a cold tank, which was how many, how many degrees? Uh, four degrees Celsius. Four degrees Celsius, and that was really, really, really cold. <laughs> and now we're getting into... Survival training simulation here. Okay. That's your arms out. And on three, one, two, three, step in. You're really heavy in all the layers and and uh, it's exhausting trying to push yourself through the water yeah because you're just so heavy with the all the moisture collected in your clothing and That's so it, far right? we haven't inflated our vest so it's like we're really working hard That's next and, uh, and we're gonna get inside this raft
like they have different opinions. <laughs> it was very real. You did well. Well, there's those hurricane warnings you don't see very often. Atlantic Canada, the National Hurricane Center, is acknowledging the intensity increase of Hurricane Dorian. Bullseye around Halifax and West push sustained uh, 90 kilometers an hour. <laughs> So Hurricane Dorian is upon us in a few hours and you know that we're back in the water. We do have our masks back up now and we were right in the middle of prepping for the Caribbean, uh, doing all our provisioning and getting the boat ready and Hurricane Dorian came. You kind of hear it just starting now. The rain's just kind of starting. And we're going to hop in the dinghy and get the heck out of here and spend some time on shore while this hurricane goes by. So we didn't have to take down our sails because our sails are already off. The Dodger was up, the Bimini was up, so the Dodger and Bimini came off and I strapped down the frames for those. And secured everything on deck, cleared the deck of any anything out there that might be in the way, brought all the fenders in, everything. Because we're on a mooring, so we don't need to tie up, we don't need fenders or anything like that. So we actually have like a really, really strong mooring. It's a three quarter inch steel cable going down to a 4,000 pound huge mooring block under the water and we've got big shackles on there, brand new mooring lines. So I extended the mooring lines by using some really heavy nylon rope and I secured that off at the bow. So our, our mooring lines are actually like over 20 feet. That's really good. It should give us a lot of spring. And then I put a 15 pound weight at the bottom of the middle of the mooring lines so that they'll weigh down. So every time the boat comes taut it extends those lines and pulls that weight up and gives us some spring so that we're not completely jammed every time the boat swings back against the mooring lines so hopefully that should help us survive this is a category two hurricane yeah it's, it's serious and the eye wall is supposed to go right over us so wish us luck and uh we'll let you know how it goes see ya the storm out at Noel's mom's it was just cold and windy and it got dark the power went out we couldn't even see the boat I think my mom's house is the only house in Dartmouth that did not lose power last night but it was a good chance for us to edit some video for you guys and have a little downtime because we haven't had that it's been go 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 getting our prep for the Caribbean so uh, we're on our way back now to check out the boat, suss out the damage, kind of nervous. I haven't gotten an update. I, I was getting text messages throughout the night, but I haven't had an update since the eye of the storm was above us. I have no idea how the boat did from the point where the winds shifted 180 degrees and started blowing the other way. We had winds up to 150 kilometers per hour, I think. We just arrived at the marina and um, just looking around here, it looks like all the boats survived, all the docks survived from what we can tell just at a first glance here. One thing that's pretty impressive though is the storm surge had come right up here over the dock. So you know that these docks were up like above the ground level, especially over here. You know, all that debris right there just shows you how high the water had come and our boat is right there. So we'll get the dinghy out and head over there and make sure that everything is okay. I want to do a 360, we'll check her out from, from, from here. I don't see anything wrong. Yeah, I want to see if the weight is still tied onto the bridles that I put on there. Yeah, weight's still tied on, bridles look good. We made it. There's no chafe on the lines and these cleats held up. Everything looks really good. Let's see how things look. Go for it. Aww. It's expected. Yeah, this it look, is food. looks like some stuff spilled and fell over. Well, we got a little mess here. It was a hurricane after all. It's actually... Everything's good? You don't see any water? Open up the bilge. Okay, you gotta check the bed. 
I bet the table moved a bit. No, there's no water in the bilge. Oh, Woohoo! We survived Hurricane Dorian. B, we survived our first hurricane. Hey guys, thanks for watching. If you haven't become one of our Patreon members yet, you really should go and check it out and see if it's something you'd like to do. And if you like our videos, please don't forget to subscribe. And if you want, leave a like or a comment below. See you guys later.